What is up guys, today we're going to be talking about 5 reasons why you should buy the iPhone 8 Plus in 2021, even going into 2022. This is still a pretty good buy and it kind of has a unique thing to it. So number one is going to be definitely the hardware. So the unique thing about the 8 Plus is this is the last iPhone that has Touch ID. So you can get an iPhone SE 2020 that does have the physical home button but it has a smaller display which kind of deters people from buying it so the 8 plus it does have a much bigger display here and um, it's definitely one of the reasons why people still buy this phone and what's interesting about um, this phone is that it still retains its price here so as you can see it's around 268 300 so it still kind of costs you know uh, a bit or uh, not a bit but it's kind of in that mid-range price point um, so hardware on here is still very good it's a full glass and metal design here a uh, kind of a wide wider phone than I'm accustomed to these days uh, we got a power button volume rockers mute vibration switch I like the design uh, on here I think it's still a pretty good design some people say it looks a little bit dated but uh, honestly from the back I don't think I think it looks fine and the camera module I've always thought was kind of a cool look um, as well here uh, so overall, as far as hardware goes, Touch ID is definitely one of the main reasons why a lot of people are still buying this phone because they don't like uh, Face ID. And, you know, I can understand that with the mask and everything, having to pull the mask down. And some people honestly just like to, like, take their phone out of their pocket and then, you know, I think Touch ID is just overall just kind of faster if you know where to put your, you know, your finger at. Now next to the display on here, you still have a really nice display. And the thing about this display, this was Apple's last big phone without the notch. So I know that is definitely something that is very attractive to a lot of people here. Uh, you do have a 5.5 inch display. It is full 1080p 401 uh, for the PPI. And it is an IPS panel here. It's very sharp and it does get pretty bright. So um, I do think the display overall is a pretty decent display. And um, as far as the not having the notch thing, it's definitely a nice experience. Definitely when you're gaming, you don't have stuff cutting into your phone. Or if you're just watching you know, a YouTube video or whatever, uh, this is one of those phones where when you zoom in, uh, you actually do not see like it actually doesn't cut into the content. So you can see how it just plays in full screen with that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You see I didn't zoom in or anything. It's just, you know, like boom. So I really like that. I think that's appealing to a lot of people um, as well. All right, next I want to talk about performance on the 8 Plus. We're running iOS 15 with the Apple A11 chip. Um, we also have 64 gigs of internal storage and 3 gigs of RAM, uh, which might be a little low by today's standards, but I don't download a ton of stuff on my phone anyway, so I've never really ran out of storage, even on these lower configurations. Um, but yeah, performance on here is fairly solid. Gaming performance on here is pretty good. Now, it's not like the 10R where I can like max uh, PUBG out and stuff like that. Uh, it plays PUBG fine at smooth extreme settings, uh, which is something that I really like. Um, but, okay. um, like, like I said, gaming is fine. The phone doesn't really overheat like that. And also, um, this phone does pretty well with battery life as well. I can easily get you know six hours of screen on time but we'll talk about that a little bit more so performance is pretty snappy on here and like I said running iOS 15 this phone will probably still get updates you know iOS 16 if not 17 um, since we know I believe the iPhone what is it 6s is still running iOS 15 so if that's running iOS uh, iOS 15 then uh, the 8 plus will get updates for at least another maybe two three years um, so, you know, you still have, you know, updates on this phone still. So that is a really awesome experience. So I think performance wise is pretty great. If you haven't seen the uh, Geekbench scores, here they are. And uh, yeah, so performance wise, I really haven't had an issue. It's not like it's lagging and stuttering and stuff like that. It's fairly smooth. So just no issues here as far as performance. Now, the next thing is going to be image quality. So surprisingly, and this is goes for all older iPhones, the cameras have age. Uh, very well on these older iPhones. It's got a 12 megapixel standard and a 12 megapixel telephoto. 4K video at 24, 30, and 60 FPS. Along with a 7 megapixel selfie that also shoots in 1080p. I was really impressed with the photos. Now, obviously, it's not going to take 
you know, photos like the latest iPhones. But I think for the price that you're paying, I think it's definitely on par with a lot of mid-range smartphones. And I even think comes some shots I even prefer it comes out a little bit better uh, than you would find on, you know, the most popular mid-rangers. And again, it's de dependent on like what type of shot it is. I also think video is extremely good and definitely superior than a lot of mid-range phones as well. Um, so as far as your image quality and video quality, very nice. You get very good colors on here, dynamic range. Uh, the you know depth of field is pretty good on here. Um, I think the only thing that's kind of aged about the cameras is that there's no ultra wide. So I believe like the ultra wide is definitely the most used secondary camera, so that doesn't have it. It's got the telephoto, um, but you know I think overall image quality is definitely still great on the 8 Plus. I really don't have any complaints about it. Now the last thing about this phone that I absolutely love is going to be battery life. So battery life is pretty good on here. I believe uh, maybe a month or two ago I did a battery drain test uh, for this phone and it got me around 6 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time uh, which I thought was fantastic. So uh, just make sure you have good battery health on yours and um, these, these batteries are actually pretty easy to replace as well. Batteries are way easier to replace so if you do have to you can. So this is not one of those phones that really die um, super fast. This is a phone you can leave the house with. And be confident that you can make it through the day uh, no problem uh, so you know the battery size if you want to get to the technical uh, aspect of it, it is a 2691 milliamp 15 watt and then you also have um, wireless charging on here as well which a lot of $300 phones do not have so that is a nice uh, luxurious feature uh, to have and um, yeah so overall the 8 plus is really great you have all your little bells and whistles as far as IP67 dust and water resistant and you also have uh, on here like I said uh, NFC with the Apple Pay and stuff like that so it's an extremely good buy for those who really really want a touch ID or a physical home button alright so that is pretty much it thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one